Yesterday on First News at 5, we shared the benefits of having a will. Actor Luke Perry did. His assets will be passed along smoothly. There was no legal will surrounding the Golden Dawn, and it led to a family disagreement. Today, I took the story to the next step about setting up a will and what you should consider. A will is a legal document which leaves instructions on what should happen to your things after you die. I think most people believe that if they die without a will, uh, their spouse will be the sole beneficiary. That is absolutely not true. When there's a will, an executor simply oversees your requests. Without a will, an administrator is in control. Wills have to contain certain things, plus be signed in the presence of two witnesses. Otherwise, it's not valid. Lawyers recommend everyone having a will. Younger people who have minor children absolutely should have a will so that they can name a person to be a guardian of the minor child if the natural parents both die. Wills are beneficial whether you think you have assets or not. It goes beyond just passing along heirlooms, jewelry, and special family items. While making a list of those, be specific and be ready to name the persons specifically. Failure to define the term children can, can be an issue. Maybe stepchildren are intended to be included, but under Ohio law, ch the word children does not include stepchildren. It's important to talk with your spouse and children before putting your last wishes in writing. And because they become binding, creating a will should not be considered a one-time event. But it, it's something that should be reviewed periodically because things in life change, and as they do, it's likely that the will may have to change with those things. By the way, your will doesn't need funeral instructions since that usually takes long takes place long before a will is read. John recommends having four essential estate planning documents, a will, a living will to handle if you're on life support or something similar, a health care power of attorney to describe treatment in case you can't describe what you want, and a durable power of attorney to make other decisions in case you're incapacitated.